In this video, I will take you to the Academic Oval in UP Diliman in Quezon City. Coming up next. It was a beautiful morning for a bike ride on the UP Academic Oval in the University of the Philippines in Diliman, Quezon City. I will take you around the Academic Oval and show you the buildings around it. But before we go there, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new content. Alright, let's get into it! The Quezon Hall is the first building that will greet you coming in to UP Diliman from the Commonwealth Avenue. It is the gateway to the university with its famous statue in front of it, the oblation by Guillermo Tolentino, as the main centerpiece. The Quezon Hall is the seat of administration of both the UP system and UP Diliman. The Quezon Hall was designed by Juan Nakpil, who was named the first national artist for architecture in 1973. The Quezon Hall was among the buildings that was constructed in the Deleman campus in 1950 following the transfer of the university from Padre Faura in Manila. Academic Oval or the Akad Oval was turned into a one-way street to lessen the traffic and to promote walking and the use of a bicycle. During weekends, part of the Akad Oval is closed to vehicular traffic. The Vargas Museum and Filipiniana Research Center houses a collection of stamps, coins, and paintings donated by George Vargas to the UP Diliman College of Arts and Letters. Among the paintings in the permanent collections are from artists like Fernando Amorsolo, Juan Luna, Felix Resurrection Hidalgo, and Victorio Edades. Visit their Facebook page for their current exhibits. I'll post the link in the description. The Palma Hall or the AS commonly known in the UP community as derived from the College of Arts and Science, it is one of the first building in the Diliman campus. 
It currently houses the College of Social Sciences and Philosophy. It is considered to be the heart of the campus and where special student events and activities are held, including the infamous Oblation Run. Just next door is the Lagmay Hall. The Lagmay Hall, named after Dr. Alfredo Lagmay, National Scientist for Experimental Psychology, it houses the UP Department of Psychology and Dr. Lagmay was the longest serving chair. The Lagmay Hall was formerly known as the Palma Hall Annex Building. And adjacent to the Lagmay Hall is the College of Education's Benitez Hall. In front of the Benitez Hall is the UP Sunken Garden or the General Antonio Luna Parade Grounds. This is the second most popular landmark in UP following the UP Oblation at the Quezon Hall. It is a 5-hectare natural depression found on the east side of the Akkad Oval. The Sunken Garden is the largest open area in the campus and an ideal spot for holding big events. Across the UP Sunken Garden are the UP Cesar Virata School of Business and the UP School of Economics. Also across the Sunken Garden is the Malcolm Hall, home of the UP College of Law. This is the UP Library. In here, the original oblation statue is kept. The statue in front of the Quezon Hall is just a bronze replica cast from the original in Italy back in 1950s under the supervision of Colentino himself. The Melchor Hall is home to the UP College of Engineering. It is a mirror image of the Palma Hall. It was named after Colonel Alejandro Melchor, an engineering alumnus, former faculty, and the Secretary of National Defense during the World War II. The Carillion Tower is a musical tower that houses 36 bells and plays musical tunes that can be heard all over the campus. Today, it is connected by a computerized system that allows to play music by itself. Adjacent to the Carillion Tower is the Villamore Hall or the University Theater. And in front of the theater is a sculpture of a floating naked woman over a pool of water named Uplift by Ferdinand Cacnio. And next door is the Abelardo Hall, home of the UP College of Music.
That's about what we can explore for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Where do you want me to go next? Write on the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.